Well, 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 we will talk about it tomorrow. An old black buck suggested. No, it's urgent. What if tigers attack tonight? We have to leave our place immediately. Buck warned them. After a while, the frog reached his home. All the other frogs sensed his distress. What's the matter? Why are you so worried? One of them asked. In response he told them all. We should go to find out when the tigers will attack on black bucks. A wise frog suggested and they all hopped towards the tiger's abode. We cannot just leave the home by believing a little frog. Leaving your home isn't a piece of cake. A young buck said. I warned you. We haven't time for the discussion. We cannot just sit here and wait to die. If it turns out to be a lie, I will end my friendship with frog. Buck said quickly. When the tigers were about to come out to attack, the frogs arrived there. They could not stop them so ran to the buck's abode to warn them that they did not have much time for their lives. But despite trying hard, the frogs could not reach there before the tigers. You already lied to us twice about your friendship with him. We also know that you have a habit of lying. Such important decisions cannot be taken by believing a liar. Never. A confident black buck said to them all. Buck didn't know what else to say. He was getting very anxious thinking about the time to come. I have an idea. Why don't you call the frogs here to fight the tigers and save you from them? Someone said with a laugh. What will those little frogs do? His worthless friend said another and they all laughed. Hopeless, he whispered. And their laughter was not over when the tigers attacked them. There was no time left for rescue. Soon the frogs also reached. But what could they do? Frog jumped and asked his friend to run as fast as he can. Tigers killed many black bucks. Only a few escaped. Next day when both the buck and the frog came back to the black bucks abode a few surviving black bucks were already there. After seeing his father, he felt some relief. All the black bucks were embarrassed in front of the frog and the buck. Dear son and his friend frog. We are all sorry. All of us have suffered the punishment of despising your friendship. Now we all know that in friendship there is no one big or small. We can befriend any good living being. A friend in need is a friend indeed. I wish we had known this earlier. Alas. Buck's father gave a speech and they all accepted their friendship. So, no lies from now on. Frog said to the buck and they both smiled.